It's been the biggest breaking news story in India this evening. And the whole country is talking about it. And everyone wants to know where Mehul Choksi is. And joining us on this live edition of the debate, we have with us the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Mr. Gaston Brown. Thank you, Mr. Brown, for giving us your precious time and speaking to Republic TV, India's biggest network. As you know, the issue of Mr. Mehul Choksi has been of immense interest to India, which uh, continues to pursue him. What do we know this evening, Mr. Brown, about his whereabouts? Okay, we just lost the line with uh, the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda. We'll just go across to Mr. Gaston Brown. In fact, he addressed his parliament a few minutes back about the story of Mehul Choksi and the efforts being undertaken by his government to ensure that they find Mehul Choksi at the earliest. Mr. Gaston Brown in just a few seconds. He's live with us this evening on Republic TV and we will just cut across to him in just a few minutes. In fact, uh, we had some news come in a few minutes ago of how the government in India is coordinating closely with the government of Antigua and Barbuda. Now, there are reports of uh, Choksi going missing. We had the official press release that came in this afternoon of the police in Antigua, which gave us uh, details about Mehul Choksi, the police press release on record said that the police were investigating a missing persons report made of a 62-year-old Mehul Choksi of Jolly Harbour. Mehul, according to the police, went missing on the 23rd of Sunday, 23rd Sunday, May 2021 at the Johnson Point Police Station. And he was last seen at about 5.15 p.m. on the above-mentioned date before leaving home in a motor car which has since been recovered based on additional information. The police have conducted numerous searches, but to no avail. Uh, he's described as being of Indian descent according to the... I'm, I'm just purely going by what the police is saying. As uh, he's... Uh, he, he, the search is on. In fact, the police is seeking more assistance from the public in knowing the whereabouts of Mehul Choksi. We will, we will just uh, connect back with the Antiguan Prime Minister who will be joining us any time now. And we'll continue to get your reports, meanwhile. The subjugation of free speech, the attempts to stifle every voice that is a dissenting voice against this government. When Delhi police wants a statement from Twitter, CEO of Twitter India cannot run away from that responsibility. He must come out and let the agencies know what is it that Twitter knows. joined by IG K.R. Suresh. He is uh, uh, the Inspector General and he is the uh, in charge for the operations and the security of the Indian Coast Guard. Sir, a very warm welcome. My first question would be, how are you preparing? We've just uh, seen the ta Taute cyclone and now Cyclone Yas is approaching. What is the preparedness of... Uh, Thank you for joining us on the special broadcast, Mr. Gaston Brown, the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, joining us live on Republic TV this evening. Thank you, Mr. Brown, for giving us your precious time and speaking to Republic TV. As you know, the issue of Mr. Mehul Choksi has been of immense interest to India, which continues to pursue him. What do we know about his whereabouts this evening, Mr. Prime Minister? Well, you know, we had a missing person um, report, which uh, was reported to the police here in Antigua yesterday morning. Ostensibly, um, Mr. Chuxi um, left his home Sunday evening and did not return home. So to date, uh, we have not been able to locate him. 
Uh, you know that Mr. Chucksey has two matters um, before the courts here in Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, they won the revocation of his um, citizenship, and the second one is the extradition to India. In fact, uh, within recent time, uh, he would have asked for his case or cases to be expedited. He even switched um, attorney to uh, Mr. Uh, Edward Fitzgerald, a well-known QC in the UK, who is a celebrated criminal lawyer. So he has been stridently fighting his extradition as well as the revocation of his citizenship. So we were surprised to hear that um, he went missing. Uh, so far, we don't have any reliable information to confirm that he has fled the country. And uh, our Stratcom has issued a missing person uh, report, which has now been shared with Interpol. And law enforcement continues to utilize um, every tool, all intelligence to try and locate him. Uh, because at any day, you know, we are determined to have him extradited um, to India uh, to face um, the courts there in India and obviously to pay for whatever misgivings. Mr. Brown, we, we happened to catch your speech in the parliament this afternoon in Antigua. We, we just managed to capture a glimpse of it. Now, you spoke last year also about how Mr. Choksi's citizenship was processed. He got through, but the reality is his citizenship will be revoked and he will be repatriated to India, is what you said. So there is a recourse. It's not a case that we are trying to provide any safe harbor for criminals, for those who are involved in financial crimes, is what you had said back then. Could he have gone into hiding because of uh, your country's determined stand to ensure scamsters don't get refuge? That is very probable. I mean, he knows that um, Antigua will not be utilized as a safe harbor. And uh, we're determined to have him extradited. Uh, so the matter, two matters are before the, the court. As you know, we have to allow for due process. If we had um, our own way, we would have actually made him persona um, non grata and have him um, repatriated to India. So he certainly doesn't have any comfort here whatsoever. And uh, we're determined to have him extradited. Mr. Prime Minister, Jolly Harbour is 13,629 kilometers from Mumbai, where we are broadcasting from tonight. There are reports of this offender leaving Antigua and proceeding towards Cuba. In fact, some local reports we were reading uh, in WIC News and Associate Times quote him as possibly being in a safe house in Cuba. Would you rule that out? Well, I don't know how they could come to that conclusion. We know for sure that they, he did not leave the lone airport here in Antigua. And for him to be in Cuba, he would have had to have taken a boat. Now, for a boat to arrive in Cuba within such a short period of time, it's unlikely. So to date, we don't have any reliable information to that effect. And it could be that he's still on the island. Uh, so again law enforcement um, is doing all they can to try and locate him and obviously we continue to pursue the two litigations as we seek to revoke his citizenship and ultimately to have him extradited to india mr brown we will wait for the investigation to proceed of course we are watching very closely what happens in antigua but how closely has your government been working with india on the issue of mr mehul choksi very closely. Uh, up to this morning, um, I had um, an exchange with the Indian High Commissioner here at Antigua and Barbuda. He's actually um, domiciled in um, Guyana. And, um, you know, we have been working very closely to have him repatriated. So that collaboration continues. And I'm quite sure that ultimately, after he, that is, Mr. Chucksey would have exhausted all of his, um, his, his appeals, that ultimately he'll be extradited. Would you say, Mr. Brown, that your diplomatic engagement and efforts with India on the issue of Mr. Choksi and the cooperation uh, in the last few years has further strengthened ties between both India and Antigua? Absolutely. In fact, I consider Prime Minister Modi to be a personal friend. And uh, Prime Minister Modi has proven to be a great friend of the Caribbean region. Uh, he has assisted the Caribbean region with resources to assist us to uh, transition into green energy applications and to mitigate and adapt uh, to the effects of um, climate change. In addition, most recently, he has made one of the most benevolent um, contributions of any leader globally. Oh, Perhaps one of the most benevolent um, contributions within the last century, in which he made 500,000 vaccines to the Caribbean people. Failing which, I believe that we'd have had tens of thousands of um, fatalities. So. We're very appreciative of the reach out or the outreach of um, 
Prime Minister Modi to the Caribbean region. And I can say that um, he and his government, they're well respected here in Antigua and Barbuda and the wider Caribbean. You know, I, I wanted to you know ask you more about Mehul Choksi, but because you mentioned the vaccine reach out from India, it's been a big debate in India. Uh, the Prime Minister is being questioned on the ex, you know, the, the, the vaccine reach out for giving vaccines to other countries that needed it. As the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, how would you respond to such a debate? Because I remember reading your tweet where you spoke about how India at a time of vaccine nationalism had reached out in such a big way to the Caribbean nations. Absolutely. And I, at the time, described it as one of the most significant acts of benevolence that we have seen from any leader globally. It is a well-appreciated um, outreach, a well-appreciated um, contribution. In fact, presently, we are trying to get the United States, for example, to um, share some vaccines with the Caribbean region on a bilateral basis. I know that um, the U.S. has agreed to make about 80,000 doses, 80 million doses of the um, AstraZeneca vaccine with the rest of the world. But we believe that as part of their third border, that they should be in a position to make a bilateral contribution similar to what um, India did. Uh, so again, you know, for us, um, Prime Minister Modi and his government, um, they are champions and they would have um, reached out to us and made um, a more significant contribution during a time of significant um, health vulnerability, which was uh, presented by COVID. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Brown, because you, you spoke about the diplomatic reach out, let me take that and come back to the subject and push the envelope. Now, if Mehul Choksi is found, and we hope and pray that he's found on your soil, where would India's uh, extradition request stand in that case? What is the status of our request? Well, you know, the litigation continues. Uh, you know, our legal system is such that we have to allow for due process. We have no doubt, ultimately, that he will lose um, his appeal and um, his citizenship will be revoked. And ultimately, he will be repatriated. Uh, if, however, uh, he would have skipped the island, then it will make it a little more complex in that uh, India will now have to seek the cooperation of uh, of another country because we will no longer have jurisdiction over him. But what I do know is just a matter of time before his citizenship will be revoked. And if he's found to be here in Antigua and Barbuda, he will certainly be extradited. Okay. Mr. Brown, like I said, we'll wait and watch where the investigation goes. Now, we saw that the cooperation had improved between both countries and we discussed it. And, and even your foreign minister, um, Mr. Shed Green, he told Republic TV that he was actually looking forward to a visit to India with Sir Vivian Richards. Is that, is that on the cards, a visit to India, perhaps? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I believe, too, that um, I'll be making a similar visit as well uh, post-COVID. So we certainly look forward to strengthening the or further strengthening the bilateral relationship between Antigua and Barbuda and India. And of course, you know, um, Prime, Prime Minister Modi and I would have met on several occasions. So, you know, I'm sure that that will help to further strengthen our personal friendships as well. Yes. And, and while, while, we, while we have you with us, how has your nation under your leadership battled COVID-19? Tell us a little bit about Antigua's efforts in fighting the pandemic. Yeah, so we had a significant um, outbreak uh, about three months ago. Uh, luckily for us, we have now seen a significant reduction. So at one point, we had as many as about 400 active cases. Uh, we're now down to 16. So we've been able to literally manage down the amount of um, COVID cases, and we have seen a significant reduction in the amount of um, hospitalizations and deaths. Uh, in fact, um, I don't believe we have anyone hospitalized um, presently for COVID. I think that is due by and large uh, from the vaccines that we got from India, in which the most vulnerable among the population, they have been at least given a first dose. Uh, so again, we are very thankful, very grateful for that contribution from the government of India. Okay, so a couple of uh, you know a couple of last questions. Now, the vaccine from India, you spoke about it, you tweeted about it, came at a time when most nations were facing shortages. How much of your population has been vaccinated now? I'd say about 36% uh, of the population um, are first dose and uh, second doses are currently being administered. So uh, that will mean that uh, perhaps about uh, close to 6% of the population is fully vaccinated currently. Okay. Last question to you, Mr. Brown. We know that India is very closely working with your government on Mehul Choksi on an almost hour-to-hour -hour basis because we're getting updates. Uh, 
how how big an issue is it for you in Ant in Antigua? I mean, this is for all the wrong reasons we've had to connect. I remember the last time I spoke to you in the year uh, 2018 and 2019, it was also over Mr. Mehul Choksi. Yeah, well, you know, this situation with Choksi is very unfortunate. Um, he really brings no value to our country and uh, yeah, more than likely would have created um, some reputational damage. So we're anxious to have him repatriated as soon as possible. Uh, but in any case, the bilateral relationship between um, our two countries, India and Antigua and Barbuda, remains very strong and obviously improving as we continue to collaborate on various issues, not only the Choksi issue, but we're collaborated in, collaborating on a number of um, global issues, especially the issue of um, climate change, which represents perhaps the most significant exist existential threat to the global population. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Brown, appreciate you taking your time out and speaking to Republic TV. Uh, thank Same you. Pleasure. Thank you very, thank very you. much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much.